I'm a firm believer in order to truly know the ins and outs of any ARC map, you must first dedicate some man hours to get your boots on the ground and experience life firsthand on the ARC. And now that the Island 2.0 has been out for a while, I've compiled a list of the very best base locations around the map you should consider building your next base in, including some popular locations mixed with some fairly unique locations as well. And of course, each base location comes with me with their own pros and cons list. With that being said, let's start with a spot perfect for any player of any skill level. This first location is located at 56.223.9. The single sloped rampway offers an easy to protect location out of reach of predators. The added security is a great perk to have in any form of the game. Then, when and if you feel the need to expand, the side of the cliff has a fairly easy place to build a ramp up to the top level of the plateau. Up here, it's fairly safe, flat, and great for a dino yard. The river outside is a simple water source, but the bigger benefit is it's one of the few locations beavers will spawn around the map, and every ARC player likes free cement based. This location also has easy access to the core set of materials being metal, crystal, and obsidian, and all of those you can find at the nearby volcano. It also isn't too far from the winter biome, so that means easy oil and silica pearls. This central location on the map will offer a close route to pretty much anything it is you want to be doing on the ARC. This next location is a beautiful spot for those looking for more of a scenic route. The Redwoods Lake is located at 64.131.7. On top of the obvious aesthetics of this spot, it also remains fairly close to the Redwoods Mountain, making resources like metal, crystal, and obsidian pretty much a luxury to have. It's also right next door to the Swamp Cave, which makes farming cave drops less of a chore and way more of a luxury. However, this spot is not for the faint of heart as you'll be fighting us spinos, rexes, and thylas, and pretty much anything that spawns nearby. But so long as you have a strong fence and maybe a tree platform or two, everything should still remain in order. Luckily for us, this Redwoods Lake has withstood the test of time and made it into ASA unscathed. The central plateau, located at 4368.8, is surrounded by cliffs on all but one side, making it very easy to defend and fortify. It even comes complete with its very own pond and waterfall for easy hydration convenience. Being located at the base of a mountain, resources are kind of at a premium here as well. It even has a small cave built into the side that could be used for any number of projects. The trade-offs for this location include oil being relatively far away and the ocean is a bit of a journey as well. Something else to keep in mind is this is probably the most foggy area of the map I've seen. For whatever reason, it just stays foggy 24-7, so just something to keep in mind. Regardless though, for the size of the land, the safety of the location, and how close it is to pretty much everything on the map, you still find some pretty great value building here. Northeast of here is the Craggy Cliffs located at 45.278.5, and this area is kind of a jack of all trades. There's actually a hidden lagoon inside the cliff, perfect for a scenic base location. The land above is also wide, flat, and totally expansive in case you need a dino pack. The cliff wall in the lake make it easily fortifiable from hostile spawns. The northeast mountain is a fairly short distance away as well for all your resource gathering needs. The real value here though is the lake itself. It's actually deep enough to be able to build a water pen inside of, meaning it's one of the only locations you can breed and house water dinos on the interior of the island. Not to mention that beneath the surface you can find metal and crystal nodes. The only real drawback of this location is that it does have a lack of nearby oil nodes. So, something to keep in mind. The northern ruins are located at 3172.8 on the beach of the northern river. These ruins are built into the side of the hill. At the heart of these ruins are two different elevated platforms. These platform areas are perfect for a workstation or even a makeshift dino pen if you really needed one. There are three different staircases leading from various different areas of the map as well in order to access these platforms, which means finding a way to fortify or even gate off each entrance is fairly easy. Plus, being between two different mountains makes resource grinding super easy. On top of all of that, what makes this place even better is the giant hollow acting as a courtyard or perhaps even a dino pen sitting just behind it. By combining the ruins and the huge hollow behind it and fusing the two into a giant unique base location, it really does leave the door open for many possibilities. Now, I suppose I should mention everyone's favorite base location from Ark Survival the Ball, being the Hidden Lake located at 17.873. Unfortunately, this lake lost a lot of its luster going into Ark Survival Ascending. However, it's still one of a few locations that maintains its safety and open areas near the North Shore. But let me introduce you to the better version of the Hidden Lake. 
the Hidden Oasis, located at 93.158. This oasis has walls on all sides with flat areas on top. There are only two ways in, one by land and one by sea, making this natural water pen very defendable. Being able to combine both your water base and your land base into one unit definitely is a perk in itself. The trade-off for this beautiful scenery is it's a bit of a journey to any nearby land resource being metal and obsidian. Still, being on the southern peninsula, the ocean and oil are still very close by and easy success, making the hidden oasis a top tier base location. Introducing the Frozen Church. This ice alamo is located at 17.715.8 along the North Shore. The ruins themselves have a built-in workshop slash storage area that sits directly underneath the main part of the church. This area is of a decent size if you wanted to build any sort of workstation along with the dino pen just outside. You can also climb the bell tower to a platform perfect for flyers sitting at the top of the church. There is a lot of flat land surrounding the outside of this church, so expansion is definitely possible. The biggest perk of this base place is that every resource you can think of is very accessible and close at hand. But there are two very large looming trade-offs here. One being the extreme cold temperatures you'll have to endure, but two, this area does spawn hordes of aggressive dinos making this location maybe not the best for a beginner. Now let's check out perhaps the safest location on the entire island, the westernmost iceberg. This place may as well be its own island. It holds a massive amount of land for activities. It also comes complete with not one, but two different built-in water pens. What I like the most about this western iceberg is that you can actually build inside of it and turn the two holes in the roof into an aviary, paddock, or even a workstation your options are unlimited. This iceberg really does act as your very own floating fortress. Besides the cold though, all of this space and safety does come with a price. That being metal. Metal is a bit of a journey away and back, but it's still doable. Leaving this giant chunk of ice is one of the best base locations in the entire arc. This brings me to a location that didn't even exist in Ark Survival Evolved. Located underneath the large avalanche located at 30.1927 are now ice tunnels. These tunnels offer a walled off swath of land right in the heart of the snow biome. These tunnels even branch off over to their own water source. All in all, these tunnels are one of the most unique spots on the entire map. That being said, you will still need to put some effort into defending this place because there are numerous holes here and there that are definitely gonna need to be patched if you expect to live here. It's still doable, but maybe a little harder than most. Now with the north taken care of, let's take a quick look at some spots along the west coast. The waterfall cliffs located at 46.513. The main draws to this area has to be its beautiful aesthetics. But beyond its obvious beauty, this spot is very safe and will allow you to build practically anything your heart desires. Not to mention having the ocean on your back door is always a perk. The isolation does come at a bit of a price though, as this spot is fairly far from most of the spawns on the map, including resources and dinos themselves. A spot we could assign the same attributes would be the oasis on the western peninsula, located at 61.88. Again, a remarkable spot with loads of space for builds, just a bit far away. If it's a pirate's life for you though, these options are perfect. An equally stunning location is just east of the Red Obelisk at 84.217.5. The Red Cove has a set of beautiful waterfalls and a fairly deep pond for water creatures. The beach and fields on either side provide a perfect location for anyone looking to get set up for the long haul. Unfortunately, you will still trade safety and beauty for the lack of ease in terms of resources, which really does lend more to an early game setup, but there's no reason you can't be here long term. And with views like these, why wouldn't you want to? Let's look at a base spot on the other side of the spectrum now. You can't get any more in the middle of things than the central ruins at 32.651.3. These are the island's largest set of ruins. There are dozens of paths, trails, nooks, and crannies to delve into here. There are also numerous larger buildings connecting these ruins. This area might lend itself to more of a PvP area though, but in terms of convenience, this spot is surrounded by three different mountains, the volcano, the ice biome, and even the middle river. So as I said earlier, you really can't get more in the middle of things. However, defending might be tricky here. It's not very likely, but you are kind of close to a giga spawn, so it's totally possible one wanders into your base. What's more likely though, is this area does spawn titanosaurs. So more often than not, you will find a titanosaur wandering around your base. The only other con I can see for this location is that it's really not anywhere close to water, but there's some ways around that. All in all, the perfect base for any of you grinders out there. That leads me to perhaps my favorite location on the island, Pride Rock. 
located at 55.274.9. Besides looking similar to the mountain from Lion King, this mountain is hollow. And what do I mean by that is that the, not the peak is hollow, but the very center, making it easy to defend. What makes this crazy mountain even more unique is that it connects to a large ledge that can either be used as a paddock or maybe even a workshop. Another hidden gem to this location is that there's actually a mine shaft that leads to some really easy crystal nodes at the bottom. The most obvious perk is it being neighbors with green off for convenience though. It's literally just across the river. Unfortunately, when it comes to oil, metal, silica, and obsidian, you're going to have to do a bit of a travel to accumulate those. All in all, I'd say this is maybe one of the most unique spots on the entire map. And finally, for a little bit of a bonus, I'll include this swamp hideout at 56.179.6, just in case anyone feels like playing Shrek. Jokes aside, it is a gorgeous spot and pretty unique as well. Being located in a swamp is always dangerous stuff though. There is no lack of hostile mobs that spawn here, so some bayou walls might be in order. This spot, just like Pride Rock, does have green obelisks literally across the river from it for ease. Unfortunately, also similar to Pride Rock, resources aren't bountiful. But there's no reason why you can't build inside the cave for safety or outside on the beaches to enjoy the beauty of the spot. Either way, it's a great spot for any base location. So how'd I do? Did my list compare to yours? Did I miss a spot that might be your favorite? Let me know down below which of these spots might be your favorite. Or if you have a different spot on the map that I missed entirely. Who knows? It's totally possible. Leave a like if you haven't already and subscribe if you do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.